Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Drew with Acoustic Collectibles and today uh, I'm going to throw up a little, a little uh, guy real quick for you guys to see. But today we're going to be talking about being thankful. So a tip for you guys is uh, that I've learned over uh, just selling coins and receiving coins from other people is the process and the ability to be thankful, right? And so uh, what I've really tried to anchor down and do well at is being very thankful post-transaction. Also, uh, I've been really good at trying to send thank you cards. So this doesn't really apply to many of you guys that are just collectors and avid collectors at that. Um, but it's more of the seller side, the buyer side of everything. Uh, you want to be different from your competition. It's the small things whenever you're doing uh, selling and buying that makes you different from everybody else, right? And so, don't. I try to send uh, a card once in a while. I have a guy, a few guys that do a lot of transactions with me, right? So they can they can do two, three, four a week, maybe biweekly, right? And so. I might send them a card every three or four packages, uh, just something unique about them, maybe something, uh, something that just, uh, you know, something unique and personalized to them about their life, something that I've known, or just something about the coin, you know, this coin I had for this long, it was in my personal collection, yada, 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 or I found this coin on eBay, and uh, it was exciting to see it, and I was so glad I'd be able to send it to you, something like that, and so... I just want to impart that knowledge. If you're if you're thankful, there's more things to come for you. If you're thankful to, uh, you know, people that send you coins. If you're thankful to people that uh, buy coins from you, you're able to have that more personal connection with them. And so, um, lesson number four is about being thankful. And so it may seem like a small over over centralized. I guess talked about so much, right? But I think it's very. I don't know, it's, it, for me it's unheard of nowadays, so. But let's get into the coins today, uh, enough of me ranting. Uh, this is an interesting coin, it's a German metal. Um, I'm going to post more about this coin in the description below. I just love the design on it. Uh, I actually ordered this from Rex Rarities on Instagram. He's such a great guy, uh, he's a pleasure to work with. Uh, this coin ended up just not being uh, something that I would feel fits in my uh, coin collection so I am sending this back to him but I wanted to give him a personal shout out he is almost the best customer service in the industry he's very prompt he uh, makes sure that you're taken care of uh, this might be uh, a medal for you uh, read the description below and also just tell me what you guys think about this coin I just love the design and uh, he also, I'm going to tag Rex Rarities in the description, just showing you guys what uh, he has on his page for sale. But uh, this has such unique history. I think there's only 106 ever made. Um, and I think they're representative of battles or wars in World War One. So there's only one made for each battle. So if you look on the back here, it'll give a certain date. It's kind of hard to see. They'll get like a certain date, you know, uh, 26th of August, 1915. And uh, what I found interesting was just every single one was personalized with its own date. And so this is one of of many that were ever made. And so I really enjoy the metal aspect of uh, just collecting because, you know, it's, it's okay to see a Morgan once in a while and be like, wow, that's cool toning. There's uh, 16 million made or 29 million made. But this, you know, only one was made for this day, this occasion. And so I thought it was just a really cool thing to show. And you guys really should go pick this up if it's something that is screaming at you. Well, let's move on to the next coin. I have a lot of actual Morgans today I wanted to show off. Our first one is a deep greenish type of toning. As you can see, it's very lustrous on the front. You have the CAC sticker top right. Um, but you can just see the luster coming throughout. On the front, you can see that little crescent, which is very nice. Um, but the back is where all the money is. So if you flip that over, boom, 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 boom. So you see the red, the deep toning of red. You see that bluish color in there. And then you also see this deeper green going underneath. So I really enjoy this coin. Uh, I'm 
looking for a buyer currently for it. Um, I love the toning on it. I love uh, the CAC sticker. I just love these deep toned coins. And I really anchored my business uh, in these types of coins because they're just so hard to find sometimes. And uh, people just love the toning on it. Wow, very nice coin. Speaking of deep green coins, I am showing you guys another one. <laughs> Uh, this one is a little bit older of a holder. You see that there's no, you can't see the sides of the coin. Uh, but if you look and start to lower it down, you start to see these bands. See that white band, then you see the red band, and you see the green band, then you see the red band again, and then it goes back into this dark green. That's really hard to find on a Morgan dollar. Uh, I haven't really been able to find many of those. And so when I see it, it's just... I had to pick it up. I found it on eBay with really crappy pictures. And so it was a really deep toned coin. If you kind of switch it to this round, you probably be able to see it better. But I really love it. And uh, I'll have no problem selling this coin. It's just a really hard find when you see all these layers so thick. Most of the time when you see the, the toned coins, they might be just solid. It's just one solid line, like a green, red, and then yellow. But this one's like green, red, yellow, green, red, and it's like a really cool type of band toning going all the way down the coin. Really love the coin. I'm going to slip over the reverse real quick. It's a really lustrous reverse. It has that uh, greenish orange at the top. It gives that little kick accent uh, just to top the whole coin off. And this is probably one of my favorite coins of the video. I got this for such a great price and I'm really glad I'm able to show it to you guys. Now we're going to be moving on to a little bit more of a darker, another coin that's darker, but it's a really decent coin. Um, I got this with a, another coin that I'm about to show you, but it's just a, a really nice piece. Um, if you start to go down it with the light, it has like these speckled type of toning on it. Um, the blue toning and it has that kind of uh, beige toning. I really enjoy these types of toners just because it was really affordable. Uh, the date's really nice and I love that grade. It's a really decent grade. But if you flip it over, you can see that green iridescent kind of uh, blue coming down. And so sometimes, you know, I just take a risk. Uh, this, this was a little bit hard to photograph as well. Uh, for for the seller on eBay, his name is Hound Dog Two, Mr. John. He is on eBay, and you can actually uh, click on his link. Actually, his at in the description below. I want to send a few people his way. Hopefully, um, he's always had such a great cl uh, selection. When I go and speak to him, and I'm very fortunate to know Mr. John. Thank you, sir. Now we have the second one from that lot. Once again, we're going to go back to that lustrous view, just like we had on the other reverse toner. You have that gold and bluish, just slight crescent on there. Um, it's a, another common date, um, but I just love uh, that little slight crescent and then the holder as well. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's the thick NGC holder, so it's a little bit rarer to find. Um, in this case, is just impeccable condition. Uh, very little scratches on it, and you won't need to rehold this reholder this coin anytime soon. But if we flip over to the side that's important, boom! So you see the green yellow peeking in at the top, and it's going kind of down the sides, and then you have this really lustrous blue, just consuming the coin. And so uh, it's just such a beautiful piece. Uh, this bundle actually sold first day me getting it in so I'm very fortunate. I want to thank Mr. Nicholas uh, for picking up these two. He's been an avid uh, collector and buyer from me and I'm just very fortunate to have him uh, with me. Thank you Mr. Nicholas. And now we're going to move on to the last coin. Kind of a weird coin. I saw it on Facebook and I'm like you know what let's pick it up. I'm going to put it in the personal collection. Why not? And so I picked this coin up. It's a 1865 B German 
I don't even know what that is, right? So that's kind of where I am with most of my coins. I don't know what they are sometimes, but I just love the design. And this coin was super affordable. But if you start to go down, you see the green yellowish coming down. And the horse. I love the horse design on this one. Anything with a horse, just count me in, right? So the leer I showed last video and uh, this coin, this video, I just love these type of this type of toning right here and the coin. But if you flip it over, it has that yellowish toning again, but then that blue kind of in the in the fields behind the one. I love these older dates too. It's just a really unique piece of history. One day I'm just going to spend some time looking this coin up and maybe write a description for it and post it on my Instagram. So I just want to leave you guys with a few thoughts today. Um, once again, uh, I guess one of my key ways of retaining business and uh, staying relevant in the field is just the field of the coin business is just being thankful, being sincere, thanking people for when they buy, sell, any type of information they even give you. Just say, hey, you know what, thank you for taking the time and writing you and writing me. And so I think you guys uh, will learn a lot and receive a lot and give a lot when you're when you're thankful. And so uh, I just want to leave you guys with that thought today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hitting the like button. And if you guys want to share this, why not, right? So uh, thank you guys for watching once again. I will see you right in the next video. Have a good day.